Hey everybody, it's your buddy Beard Grizzly, and let's think hypothetically, because that's new on this channel. Yeah, hey, it's totally original for me. I've, I've never thought hypothetically in my life before about any of this stuff. Yeah, allow me to be your oracle, not that one, because we may have already been shown the ending of Destiny 2, or at least the beginning of it. And I don't mean the sun blowing up because Gary likes things that go boom, but we are going to talk about that. Really, I have two short theories that don't deserve their own videos, but I wanted to see what you guys thought. We're in Destiny 2 wind-up time, and my mind is spinning with ideas. After watching the Rally the Troops trailer, I'm left to feel like these scenes are what everything we do in Destiny 2 is leading up to. Really, I could stop there, but let's look at it from an overall standpoint. The beginning of Destiny 2 opens with Homecoming. We're all familiar with the mission at this point, I'm sure, through either looking over videos or being able to play it through beta, but we see the tower go kablooey, along with our leadership being scattered to the winds, questioning their existence like an overly emotional anime character. We are then tasked with bringing them back together, essentially the developer's words, to reunite humanity and get things sorted out. Obviously, the middle's a little clouded at this point. I think it's safe to assume that Earth will be point one for us to look over, being directed by Tyra Karn and others to bring the Order of the Vanguard back together before we go off to Titan. From there, we find Zavala, we pick up on the signal from Failsafe, we go to Nessus and we find Cade, and then Io, where Ikora gives us a little lead. I'm just kind of going off the fact that Zavala is talking to us in Nessus, which means Cade will be involved at one point or another, but Ikora hasn't been heard at that point. The Order of Planets could still be completely different, being that not all voice actors talk in a given strike or mission anyway. All the same, no matter the middle point, the ending is pretty clear to me. Zavala, Cade, and Ikora are all seen together at the end of the game, with us assaulting the Cabal in the city. Speeches ensue, and everyone runs off to start pew-pewing. That's, uh, shooting. Oh, what am I talking about? You guys already know that. The trailer is literally called Rally the Troops. Obviously, this is a play on word for the Vanguard to bring people together and get them psyched for the battle to come, but the troops are all there, unlike they are in the beginning of the tower assault. And then they saunter in with the boys back in town playing behind them, shooting Cabal for days. Nah. From there, we go punch Gary in his uncovered head, because that makes total sense, thanks to it being a pressure suit and not having a closed-off system. Also, English-speaking Cabal. Huh. Also, white armor. Bungie, are you going full gladiator on us here? Are we going to get thrown into Hades and have to climb our way back up? Wait, now I'm getting into God of War on this again. In summary, this is after the events of Destiny 2 transpire, and our Guardian has done all the heroic deeds that it needs to do, but now we've got to get back into the city and take it back. It was hard for me to watch this trailer and not see it that way after a while. But why is it that we really pushed for getting in there and knocking Gaul down? Well, the obvious point is there. It's my town, so get out! Could have brought a cake or something along, sheesh. Thanks to Future War Cult and some Golden Age tomfoolery, there's this thing called the device that makes people go cuckoo crazy bonkers when they use it. Only a few people on record have been able to use it for a fair bit of time, but the gist behind this thing is that it allows for the user to look through different time waves. Basically, there's a lot of influence used on this thing from what Ishtar Collective learned on Venus about the Vex during the Golden Age. These are the cliff notes. There's a ton more behind this thing, and if you want to read more about it, the influences come from the Vex Grimoire cards, a bit of the Stranger, and the Future War Cult cards proper. What this device has served to do for Future War Cult has been pretty nifty, albeit pretty cryptic. They're able to see these different timelines and then try to understand the information that comes from them. For instance, they foresaw the city in flames, a future of utter darkness, and several other images that led them to their faction credo. War is the only constant. In every timeline they witnessed, it led them to seeing it all in flames, or just war in general. Let's look at this scene and keep that in mind. The war cult isn't in the farm at the time we seemingly get there for the first time. Like the rest of the Vanguard, we have to either find them or something else is going on with them. Hypothetically speaking, again, let's say we find them with a copy or alongside the actual device. They're scouring for other leads that could allow us to know what Gaul's battle plans may be. Suddenly, we get thrown into the device, we experience a vision, and boom goes the sun! All the while, with this Cabal ship right in front of it. Obviously, there's nothing that necessarily puts any of these points into concrete view. Count them as what they are. Feelings. 
I just thought it fun to speculate as I always do with what might be going on with the trailers and information we've been shown so far. Do I hope this is how it ends? No, not one bit. I hope Bungie is a bit less transparent than that, but the connections just seem odd to me, and they really just fall together, nonetheless. They showcase this thing about the sun going kaboom, and we really don't have a lot of connections for it otherwise, so why not introduce the magical time-traveling machine that can see into the future? I can see the future! Yes, we know! Anyway, that'll about wrap it up for me. Just a couple quick theories I figured I'd fire off that really don't have a place in their own video. Oh yeah, kind of like how people turned into exos probably see themselves when they wake up from their transference of their minds. Have fun with that Soma thought tonight. You know the buttons to push if you like this and want to hear more silliness from me. Otherwise, if you guys want to leave something in the comments but aren't sure what to say, leave the phrase, oh bungo please, so I know you got this far. I don't know, I just don't want that to be it. I want there to be more to the story than that, obviously. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next Spacetime Guardians. Take care, and happy theorizing.